Hello and welcome to the Guitar Grid. My name is Godfrey Ruzu, aka Gentlefred. Today I'll be teaching you how to create um, um, an animation. It's found on um, a TV station in Ghana called Metro TV. Um, currently, they are, they are advertising the fit, um, the, fit, the 15th uh, anniversary. And I just wanted to create a tutorial on that. <coughs> very simply, I don't want to um, replicate anything too much, but just something very similar. Okay, um, to move on, um, before I go on, um, I dedicate this video, this video tutorial, um, especially to my friend called Foko, um, Emmanuel Akwesi Bamfo, uh, <coughs> he asked me to do this. So, um, first of all, I open up After Effects, uh, sorry, Illustrator, <laughs> open up Illustrator, okay, I created this in Illustrator, and um, this is how it goes. This is what I created using the pen, uh, the pen tool, and, um, <coughs> I got something like this okay so you close it up uh, you create another thing like this um, it goes up like that you know just pretty much pretty much just you can continue and you can finish it up um, as you wish okay um, yeah pretty much just adjust it a little bit with your tools and everything okay we're just gonna use this and um, <coughs> All you gotta do is go to file, save or save as. Um, okay, so let's make it Metro animation, Metro animation tutorial. Okay, so I save it, click save again, and under this one you go to Illustrator 8 because that's what uh, work works best uh, best with. Um, <coughs> By the way, please mind my microphone because um, I have a slight problem with my microphone. It's not a really professional. I don't have um, any. This is what I have, so bear with me, please. Um, so it's saved. Okay, so we just minimize that and go to Maya. I uh, should be uh, Polygon. Okay, so go to um, Create. Under Create, we have this Adobe Illustrator object. Uh, my, uh, by the way, I'm using Autodesk Maya 2012, the 64 bit. Okay, um, licensed. Okay, so. I go to desktop, yeah. So Metro Animation Tutorial. Okay, that's what we want. I open it and it's there. Okay, boom. All right. So <coughs> we have our thing there. But you notice, okay, let's let's try moving it down. Now you see why you see where the, where, where the transformation arrow comes. It shouldn't be there. It should be around this. So to um, adjust that, you press Inset on your keyboard and just drag this up. Okay, um, align it well. Okay, um, bring it to the middle, something like that. Okay, it's okay. All right, pretty much cool. All right, so now you press Inset again to leave the mode. Okay, then you come back, you just drag it down now. Now you can work with it efficiently. So you zoom in to see it clearly. Now, if you zoom in clearly, you can see that the bevel has gone in. The bevel is in. Okay, this bevel is at um, because of my default. Um, that's how I did it. Um, so just to adjust this you go to um you click on this you go to um um bevel plus okay so if you can find the it's it's found here if it's um you just scroll you find it here okay so on the bevel plus i'm gonna do first i'm gonna um increase the width uh of the bevel yeah so i'm increasing the width uh, i mean the extrude something like that extrude um width okay i think that's pretty much okay now i'm gonna um kind of like enlarge bring up um the um, uh the bevel now i'm going to increase the bevel size okay the bevel depth or whatever you can call it okay uh pretty much okay before i do that um uh, before i do i would like to separate um i like to separate <coughs> this one okay i would like to separate them all right i would like to separate all all the objects so i go to front view or uh, um, nevertheless, I'll go to um, front with this one and just bring it down. I go to face mode. Um, I just um, select all this and make sure I select it alone. Okay, um, I guess all is selected. And I go to uh, mesh extract. Okay, now it's a different object now. Okay, um, now this object is different from these two objects. You get it? So that's what we want. Um, the reason why I'm separating it is because. Um, I want to assign different colors to it. I don't have a reference um, image with me right now, uh, so um, I'm gonna separate this as well. 
um, with that method. But uh, <coughs> this method I used. Um, I went. I was in face mode, and I used um, my selection to <coughs> um, the rectangle selection tool. But um, I can try that with this one because um, there's not a rectangle, so it can be selected that way. So what I do is I select my lasso, then um, I just carefully draw around it like that. Um, my point of selection, um, I only pray, um, I try as much as possible so it doesn't, um, okay, now it's selected. I go to mesh and extract, okay. So now we have, um, sorry about that, we have different, different um, objects now. So we go to perspective mode, okay. Um, it's like uh, there's a little bit artifact in this one, um, okay, but nevertheless, I'll manage it like that, okay. so. Um, I could leave it that way, but no, I need to assign it. Okay, so we we'll go to the bevel plus. Um, since they all have the same bevel plus, um, uh, it would it would work. Any edit, any editing you make here, anything you edit here affects everything. So, um, I kind of like increase the bevel up a little bit. Okay, so um, it looks like it corrects something there. Okay, so I just increase this up a little bit. Okay, then I think I need to drag this backwards. Um, so. Um, okay, I need to I need to adjust um, the inset. Okay, I press inset on my keyboard. I need to adjust this very well, just to line up with it. Okay, uh, it's manageable. Okay, S okay for for which one? Okay, for that's for this one. So it needs to be on it. Okay, so yeah, it's there. It's manageable. It can be in the middle. All right, for this one, you just click on it and just drag it up. It needs to be in the middle. That I the reason why uh, the way I can get this is to press the way you can get this as well is to press insert on your keyboard and you find that it changes. So when you press insert, it toggles from it. This is the normal object mode and this the anchor mode or whatever I call it's called. Okay, so um, I'm just adjusting it. Um, yeah, I'm just adjusting it so it comes to the middle or something like that. Yeah. So <coughs> pretty much I'm done. So. I just select this, I press my inset to leave the mode to come to the normal mode. I just drag this out a little bit. Okay, yeah, I want it to be uh, a little bit different. Yeah, not too close. Okay, um, so we can really see our effects and stuff. Alright, so <coughs> that's what I want. Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Let's bring this down a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so um, right. <coughs> um, that's said and done. <coughs> Sorry. Um, I, ha I have a little bit of cold here. The uh, air condition is <laughs> really disturbing me so much. <coughs> so, um, <coughs> it looks like, <coughs> yeah, it looks like um, this object and this object has the same color. So I'm gonna assign uh, a Lambert. I, l I love Lambert so much, and I make it um, a little bluish. It looks um, kind of like this color. Okay. Uh, oh, I never wanted. My intention was not to just replicate the whole thing, but it looks like I just have to do it for clarity's sake. <coughs> so that's um, um, Lambert two. So I'm gonna assign this one as well to come to a, um, assign existing material to Lambert two. All right. So um, this has a different color. So I add um, another Lambert. Assign new color, Lambert, and um, I give this uh, a kind of like light blue around here or something like uh, something very light okay um, something as light as this I guess I don't have a reference image um, I just, I'm just doing this um, for my brain uh, <coughs> imagination okay so um, it looks pretty much okay so um, let's create our floor all right I just cl uh, create my floor and um, I just um, stretch it out a little bit, okay. Um, okay, so it's okay, um, manageable. Yeah, that's manageable. Okay, it's enough. All right, so I'm gonna create my spheres. Um, okay, I'm gonna create some little little spheres here. Okay, so we have that. Just bring up your spheres. Okay, so just align them a little bit. Okay, so I control D, just select them and just um, arrange them. Okay, randomly, control G, just um, arrange them randomly. 
control D okay you can select all as well control D um, you can bring them to the back and rotate them if you like just to change uh, okay I can rotate all okay nevertheless um, we can bring them here okay uh, just for it not to look too uh, too linear control D uh, let me do this manually okay control D control D again I'll just put in uh, as many as I, I like okay control D control D okay um, control D again control D um, I think in the actual animation um, we have some particles even falling behind but that one I wouldn't do it right now because um, I will waste much of my time and I just need to get straight to the point okay so um, yeah that's enough I think this even looks um, quite pretty prettier because it's gonna look quite prettier from the practice I did um, it was looking really really good even better alright so <coughs> now that we have this now let's render to see how it looks like alright um, pretty much it looks really raw okay um, we'll, we'll sort that out very soon but um, go, go into the render settings here um, I'm gonna use mental ray <coughs> Um, under the common settings, I'll come down here. Um, preset. I'll go to. Uh, I'll scroll down. Oh, sorry. I'll scroll down to HD one zero eight zero. That's what I'm going to be using. Um, I have no camera for now, so I just leave it the way it is. Because I have no camera, um, I leave it the way it is now. Okay. So, <coughs> sorry. I have a little bit of cough. Um, so, let's go. I leave this as it is now. So when I render it, um, we have a better view now. Okay, yeah, we have this HD view. I love HD so much. All right, um, <coughs> it's not looking too good, but <laughs> it will get close very soon. All right, so let's close this. Um, it looks like I I need to increase this. So um, oh my goodness, so so distorted. Okay, I need to increase it a lot. I'm gonna increase the size. Oh, maybe should I leave it the way it is? Okay, let me just leave it the way it is. I don't want to temper with it. Uh, okay, I don't want to temper with it too much. I think I need to increase it. Yeah, I need to increase it. It's just too small. All right, so um, I'll increase it and adjust it. Okay, so uh, fairly good. I select the first one. I just adjust it. Okay. Um, I leave the adjustment the way it is. Okay, um, I select all. I think I need to um, drag them all up. Yeah. Okay, so that's said and done. Um, I select this one, just bring it down a little bit. Okay. Uh, yeah. Because I need to see it up like that. Okay, so um, I bring this one down as well. Okay. And adjust it. Um, okay, let me, let me just adjust that in autographic mode. Um, should be uh, sorry, yeah, shouldn't be in this mode. Okay, uh, just adjust it a little bit, bring it down and down. Okay, so yeah, pretty much manageable. Yeah, we can just manage this uh, for now. Okay, so yeah, that's what we have there. Perspective mode now. All right, so we have all these um, things here. Now, one thing uh, you need to always get uh, as a professional is the outliner. Uh, that can be found in window outliner. Okay, I'm going to select all my spheres. Okay, so um, all the spheres I've created. Once, I think I need to scale them up a little bit. So, I just scale them up a little bit. Okay, and uh, some look, uh, okay, then I just drag them out. Okay, I don't want them hidden there. All right, so that's okay. All right, just um, forget about the ones here. Or oh, let me just select this one. Okay, just delete it. Uh, it looks like it's. Uh, let me select all. The, it looks like all the spheres are. Uh, okay, it's too much in, but nevertheless, we'll keep it the way it is. Uh, we need to adjust this. Okay, so yeah, so it's aligned properly. Okay, <coughs> yeah, yeah. So we leave it. It looks like I need to uh, really multiply, really add some more. Okay, Control D bring them here because here really looks empty okay so control D as well bring some here uh, control D 
D. Vincent, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So we have this here. Okay. So um, now let's render it and see what we have now. Okay. So we've not set us in any magic. So what we're gonna do right now is um, I'm gonna add um, a material to this. Uh, I'm gonna add a blend instead of the. Uh, because I want to use image uh, based lighting IBL I'm gonna add uh, a blink to it sorry I should have added it okay so um, I'm gonna add a blink I should have what I added should have been a blink okay so I leave it that and um, this also should be a blink okay um, a blink a blink 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 so good okay blink okay oh no 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 that should have uh, that should not be that color um, it should be this color instead, okay. And this should be blame. Okay, uh, it should be existing material blame. Which blame is it? Blame one or blame two? Okay, blame one. So let me change it again. Assign uh, existing material blame two. Um, all right. Existing material blame two. Okay, it looks like. Okay, new material. Assign new material. Blame. Okay, and just choose the color. Its own color. Um, which is this okay so <coughs> that very soon um you know why i i chose all those things yeah just because i want to um i need a reflectivity so i'm going to set the reflectivity to 0 0.7 for all okay i select i choose this one as well and go to blink its own blink okay um i set the reflectivity to 0 0.7 all right so this as well to point um seven around point seven. Oh my goodness <sighs> my keys are not working sorry the num num lock is off so <laughs> um all right so let me just adjust this very quickly point seven all right so we'll leave it the way it is what is that um increases the, the reflectivity now um under the, the this setting in, we go to indirect lighting and um <coughs> I'll select that uh okay okay yeah you see you find here image based lighting okay I just click on create and you find um its own attributes here so I just click on this file on my desktop I have um this HDR image okay so this is it here I've named it HDR desaturated dot HDR okay then I just press on it okay so that's what we find here okay so uh, let me just close this for now we'll come back to global illumination later all right so I render it for now just to see what happens okay so all right so pretty much um, what we have here is now this object is now reflecting everything now it's not only reflecting all this um, balls here as you can see here it's also reflecting the image outside the thing uh, the image we've given it outside okay uh, it's pretty much beautiful uh, let me just increase the reflectivity a little bit let's see something okay so I select this I go to uh, bling 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 okay so it's bling okay I'll make it full reflection I make this also full reflection and this as well full reflection I just want to see something Oh, pretty much is too much so this is point 0.9 okay this one as well point 0.9 all right and this as well um to point 0.9 okay so um we render all right so we have it there that's how it looks like you can see some um, really smart facts right now but um we'll solve that very soon okay so mm, that's said and done um um it looks like uh, we need to adjust something somewhere Okay, so um, I'm gonna need to go to the bevel plus. Uh, I need to adjust something there. Bevel, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, show up, show up, show up. Bevel, bevel. Oh, I'm just going too fast. Bevel plus. All right. Um, I need to make something. Mm, I need to change something. Okay. Um, I need to change. Uh, this one. Okay. Uh, make it 
convex convex out let's see yeah uh, pretty much no no convex in oh no no okay i leave it where it is straight out okay so okay no need for edits in there all right so i leave that the way it is okay so um now next thing we're gonna do is i'm gonna add, um um add material to this okay i'm gonna assign a material assign a new material to the balls now um you go to mental you click on mental ray i'm gonna use this one um okay so the color we have here is red okay just see it's red okay so i'm gonna apply something very similar as well the same thing here so um this one okay and i'm gonna add uh, another color i'm gonna add this color a new one okay so sign uh, the same thing I'll, you you understand why i'm doing that for now so i think let me add one more okay so one more um add another one the same thing okay so each has different names um this is uh one this is two this is three and this is four so under one i leave it red under two i change it come here um to this one i just change this color under two is different now and this one I just make it yellow uh you should make it darker okay you should make it a darker yellow or brownish whatever now you come to the lift color and make it uh, a lighter yellow okay um, just play around with it you you know what I'm talking about all right so we have that there so um, that's it and done I'll make this uh, green a darker green okay a dark green and make the lift color lighter uh, yeah lighter like that and I make this uh, blue or uh, blue blue it's okay I right, make it blue, a darker blue, okay, and I make the lift color uh, a lighter blue. All right, so that's just for that, okay. So yeah, now we have it, okay. So now we can we have um, four different colors. So we can now then um, one thing to do is also the name name your 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 your, your colors. Um, so this is red, so I'm, I'm naming red, okay. Um, this is yellow, I name it yellow this is green uh, i name it green um at first when i started using um 3d um i saw i saw labeling to be kind of useless but i tell you if you don't do it man you mess a whole project up especially if you are um, doing a large if you're working on a large project you mess you mess up things a lot um okay so i'm gonna apply i'm gonna assign this to the red one so i assign to red okay so this one to blue assign it to blue okay you right click to assign it this also to blue okay um i guess i'm gonna do it this to yellow okay yellow okay uh, this to yellow as well is this thing yellow okay uh this to yellow no it's too close uh, okay this to yellow uh, the ones behind, if they're not going to show in our render, I uh, wouldn't bother myself doing that. So red now, um, I'm, I give this to red, okay, red. Um, I give this to red here, red, okay. Um, what else, what else, what else, what is missing? Green, okay, I give this to green, okay, green. Uh, I give this also to green, okay, green, okay uh blue okay uh, blue we good here here what's missing here yellow yellow is missing here so just give it yellow what's missing here uh pretty much everything's here so let me double it. let me make it blue blue is uh, looks farther so blue then it's left with this one red looks uh missing here so red and uh blue looks missing here so blue okay so pretty much done with everything all right so that's it for now and just let's render and see how it looks like yeah this is how it looks like i can see it's not really nice it looks a matter of fact you have some artifacts and all those things what's this background doing there and all those things so don't worry about that we'll solve that very soon in a moment all right so let's put it up um one thing we need again is uh to add our light okay so you go to render um you go to point light add a point light to it um okay just to see how your light works just um put on this um light okay that's your point light okay this is how it works um take it up there all right so 
uh, here I go to top view I'm gonna add more than one light to it okay more than one okay uh, so control D to add one more light uh, let's make our backlight okay uh, let's let's make it as three-point lighting or whatever it's being called so let's make this my fill light uh, whatever my fill light control D and um, this should be another light okay <laughs> <laughs> so let's move closer okay closer and uh let me render it and see all right so pretty much looking good now um it doesn't look really look quality just because well, it's in draft mode okay so when, when we when, when we make it um um into production mode you'll see it very nice okay i think i need to just raise this up a little bit yeah because um i need some light here so let me just raise it up a little bit okay I raise this up a little bit okay all right so I'm gonna add shadows to this one I'm gonna give it shadows so you click on your light and you come to shadows here and just um, adjust this a little bit I don't want it to be too dark just um, increase this to about thousand depending on your memory size um, the higher <coughs> the higher memory we go okay so um, I think oh, this ones behind it let me just delete them this this time raise them looks like useless um, so all right, let's go like that okay so it goes like that all right so um, we're getting close okay very close um, we'll still have this artifact um, as I'll get rid of it very soon I hope so okay so um, you still have some artifacts here you know it doesn't really look too real um, it's just because we're in draft mode now um, all right so <coughs> um, almost done but now you can see um this attribute here um sorry um the image based lighting it's actually um appearing in our render which doesn't look very professional so to um to remove that okay i'm just drag this here um okay let's go to uh render settings okay that's how i got it um then under the indirect lighting just click on this to show the attribute okay so under the ment under the uh, mental ray um image based lighting shape one just scroll down okay go to um, render status um, just um, uncheck primary visibility and it's off it goes off the render okay if you want to um, let it go off here I can let I can show you as well but um, let's just see how it looks like in our render okay um, it's obviously gone here so um, <coughs> just to make this disappear um, okay what you're gonna do is uh, under here um, come to uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? What do you call it? Uh, no, come here. Come to display. Okay. Um, just go down and just click visibility and it goes off. Okay. So that's it for that. Let's close this up. Okay. So we're done with that. So let's click this position attribute. Okay. So we don't have anything behind it for it to uh, disturb us anymore. Okay. So um, one thing is left. Uh. I think we need to create okay I'm gonna create a sphere okay uh, I'm gonna create another sphere for a reason okay um, this time a very very big sphere um, sorry um, I'm gonna create a sphere I take my sphere I draw it very big okay it should cover okay um, it, it will serve as um, a general lighting okay um, just to enhance the whole thing okay so let's render Okay, um, when I render it, it looks like um, it's covered our uh, image-based lighting. I don't know the size of the image-based lighting. Uh, let me check if I can see it. Um, sorry, excuse me for that. I'm just putting this for now. Um, attribute. Okay. Um, um, so, scale that. Okay, I think, um, let me try scaling this. Um, sorry, let me try scaling this very big. Like, uh, let's say, 1,000 to 1000 to 1000 all right then let me just move in and let's um, let me try rendering it and let's see what happens okay so okay still um it looks like that so i think um, i'm gonna get rid of it so sorry unfortunately i'm gonna get rid of that so uh this fear where is it where are you where you at um I go to my window outliner 
very important okay uh, my plane my plane where is that it should be the last one here sphere that's the biggest sphere there just delete it out so um, we don't need that great so we should render now when we render now we, um, we should get our <coughs> we should get our what do you call it our image based lighting um, reflected on the object okay very important okay yeah that's what we want that's what we're looking for okay it looks like um, I really need to um, decrease the reflectivity because it looks like it's just um, there is <laughs> there's this kind of light here and I don't understand okay so I select that I go to bling okay and uh, just reduce the reflectivity a little bit just to point to point six or no, point seven point six is okay so point six select this one as well I'll make it point six uh, okay just don't want it point six okay so I'm gonna render okay um it looks like it's pretty much part of our scene so <coughs> I'm gonna leave it down um there for now just for our tutorial's sake um so it's just there okay so to make um the thing look very beautiful I'm gonna go to my render settings um we're currently using mentor ray uh mentor ray supports um this the men the that the uh, the material I have for this the Maya software will uh, accept that so under uh, mental ray I go to draft um it's currently on draft that's why you saw it like that so um we've set it already to um HD okay so I just increase the mass um sample level okay everything uh, simply remains the same uh let me check yeah everything remains the same okay then I go to indirect lighting and um global illumination very important um final gathering very important okay so I just uh I scale this down a little bit okay just scale them down a little bit and um uh, this is why i'm scaling down is because uh, it's on production so let me check it um production yeah custom okay the way i want it now let's render okay um pretty much um it's not it's not it's not ready yet but it's quite cool um yeah it's left with here but it's taking too much of my time i need to do something else i'm working i'm currently working on another one uh, called tv3 yeah that's another tv station in ghana Maybe by the end of this tutorial, uh, um, sorry. Maybe by the end of all of this, I would have finished all the uh, TV animations in Ghana. Okay, um, well, just a hobby. Um, I'm just I like doing this tutorial. So, um, pretty much it looks good. Yeah, I think uh, the artifact, uh, the thing we thought it was an artifact here, it's um, pretty much solved. It looks pretty much great now. Um, but uh, this lighting really looks good, even better than uh, the lighting looks um quite brighter than the one the original one um, i don't know why but uh, i'd noticed that um metro metro tv animations kind of like look really dark and you know it'll, it brings this dull emotion i think the artists need to bring more life in it they need more light and i don't know which software they use i might be 3d mask 3d max or cinema 4d whatever I, I doubt if it's cinema 4d i don't know but i think um they really need more light in because um, it really looks too dark and it brings this dull em dull emotion to the system well um he can also learn from this whoever the artist is i respect him for that i know he's a professional um but nevertheless he can learn something from this okay so i just close this up i won't let it render i won't let it finish i just escape and close it up okay so one thing i, I forgot to add was my ambient occlusion and my um anti-aliasing i'll add that very soon i'll just add my ambient occlusion and my anti-aliasing um just for the last um then i just continue Okay, uh, under indirect lighting, okay, everything is pretty much selected. Ambient occlusion is found here, but I notice the blender still still baffles me with its um, ambient occlusion. It's really really marvelous. I love it so much. I don't know why. I don't know how good. I don't know why it's so so. Uh, you can try it once. Uh, you know, <coughs> many of you don't. Uh, many of guys don't like to use um, softwares like that. But I started with Blender, and it's 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 really really great. You know, if if you can master Blender, you can master any software at all. Okay, um, so um, that's added. I think I forgot um, anti-aliasing. Um, that's okay. I should be under color if I'm not. Um, okay, yeah. I think I did that already. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's uh, that's uh, that's fine. Okay, so pretty much the only thing that I think I can remember for now is um, my camera. All right, so let me just add my camera. I go to um, create camera, camera and aim. I'm gonna use that. Okay, I wasn't really um, a fan of that at first, but uh, I think Maya proves um, to be good. Uh, Maya proves to be very, very good. Okay, so where's my camera? 
um camera my camera instead of my camera okay yeah that's my camera there oh buried my camera shouldn't be buried all right so i select my my camera target okay here um i just zoom in to see okay i set my okay i select my this is my camera okay i don't want a camera i want the target it has an aim okay that's where it looks at at okay i'm going to set the aim to the middle or yeah to the top here okay um i need to i need to reset that okay uh okay let me set it to to, to um sh no to shading x-ray okay so i can select my target ah uh, i'm gonna shit that's one big of a blow it's like i can't really select my target that's a problem so i'm gonna um, undo it yeah okay that's my target there all right, so I go to the right. I'm gonna um, place it on the right hand side. Yeah, up a little bit. Okay, so I select my camera this time around and just um, drag it down. You can press space um, just to go into this mode just to see it. And uh, okay, okay, let me just um, show the camera view here just to see how it looks like. This is currently what you see now. So if you move this like this, this is what you see here so i zoom out okay uh then i just drag it here a little bit okay um this is my top view okay i drag it backwards a little bit all right so it's pretty much okay yeah the view is okay all right i think i think that's enough that's enough um shade so to see okay i hope i'm right okay that's enough i think that's oh it should go further no okay here it's okay all right so i'm gonna animate my camera here um i'll leave my target the way it is i'll need my camera here um i set this um straight up to preview everything i send it to uh 250 okay so uh on frame one on frame one um i press s to um, add a keyframe to it and i move on to um, frame 100 so by frame 100 it should move to this place Okay, it should move here, like this. Okay, it should move here. So I add another, I press another S to animate it. Um, and by frame seventy, okay, by sorry, by frame one seventy, okay, it should be back here on its toes here, just here. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, it looks like. I think I need to adjust my 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 aim a little bit. That's uh, a whole. Um, I can't really find a way to select that in my um outliner. I tried it, but uh, it's really really difficult for me to to do. Oh my goodness! Show uh no sorry shading X-ray X-ray joint uh no 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 that's that's really really bad. <sighs> Oh my goodness. Okay, let me let me try the outliner space um to come back. Um let me put up the, 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 the ray. So shading. I put up the ray. Okay, and I go to my outliner. Um I'm not really a f um uh, I'm not really uh, a Maya user. I think my target should be it should be the target. I don't know why it's not um selecting. I should select it. Okay, uh, oh my goodness, my goodness camera point uh jesus target uh this should minimize uh okay camera okay uh, let me go to perspective view perspective view okay my camera is selected now i think um camera aim yeah yeah that's camera aim sorry uh it took me some time to do that well <coughs> um yeah 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 something is missing here so um uh, i go to camera view yeah, it should be like this. Perfectly like this. So let me put on my phone gate to see what is gonna be okay. Um you notice here uh you find some small artifact there. Yeah, the plane is not big enough. So I'm gonna straight the plane out. Um perspective view. Oh, that's one disadvantage about this thing. Go to perspective, camera, perspective, camera, like that, like that. Switch. Oh, I don't like that. Alright, so I go to perspective camera view. Okay, um yeah. So on that on that note i select my camera oh this is gone again i select i select i open my um this 
I select my camera. Yeah, I open that my camera and uh, press S. Yeah, I just add a keyframe and that's all. So I go back. Okay, I go back to the first frame. I play. Okay, and uh, yeah, pretty much fast. But all right. So let me just uh, play in real time. Yeah, play back in real time and let's see how it's gonna come in reality. All right. Um, it looks like yeah. Okay. If, if you don't take time, I'm gonna adjust. Looks like I'm gonna. Add, I need to adjust something. Uh, window animation editor. Come to um. No, dope shit. If I'm not wrong. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Dope shit. Uh, just um uh, select this ones. I need to let this go back. Yeah. Selected that and um. Yeah, I brought it back on. I think I need to adjust this one, so I just select it. Okay, um, uh, I think this it's too close. Okay, let me just uh, bring all this back. Shift and select this as well, and uh, press your mouse, uh, middle mouse button, and just drag this backwards. Okay, uh, okay, I think that's pretty much okay. And um, I'm gonna all I'm gonna, I'm gonna all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just uh, extend this my time. Okay, uh, so um, it's corrected right now. <coughs> okay, um, let me minimize this and let's play it and see. Okay, so play it. Yeah, yeah, this looks more, uh, like this looks better. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, so let's see how it looks like now. Let me render this. Okay, all right, so I'll force it because it's going to take a lot of time um, due to the global illumination. Um, and being occlusion in it, indirect lighting, <coughs> um, and everything. Uh, okay, let me just um, wait for you to see the process. Uh, my memory is um, three gig. Uh, I just, I think I need to pause it. Oh, I just want you to see the progress. Um, okay, let me just um, hold it on. Okay, so that's the progress. That's the progress. Uh, yeah so that's what we have there okay you can animate it and um, render it out okay um it's gonna take some time though but um if you have um your graphics card it will um, speed it up okay so basically this animation without rendering okay um yeah all right um uh, okay so i think um the next tutorial i'm gonna do is um would be probably on tv3 um i'll do that tomorrow um yeah the day after uh and um Probably I'll do more, 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 and more. Maybe I'll stop this um, TV broadcast and do more about visual effects and movies and the film. Because um, I noticed in my country um, they have this kind of uh, visual effects. I don't know who who is responsible for the local movies, but um, it's just too horrible. It's just too too horrible. You know, um, if it was supposed to go for a contest uh, for 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 let's say the worst movies, it would it would even be the least. You know. That's that's how horrible it is, you know. But but nevertheless, nevertheless, um, we're there to change things, you know. I'm gonna I'm gonna come in. I want to come into it and uh, change a lot of things, you know. Uh, in my country, we, um, they kind of like uh, everything one way, but um, I hope it will change. You know, we need to bring diversity in the, into everything, uh, and every everyone needs to be unique in its own way, uh, in his own his own way. So <coughs> I think uh, pretty much it's it's really looking cool, um, um. I think I added, I did this in Illustrator. I imported it in. I adjusted the bevel. I created all these spheres. I assigned materials to them. I assigned each material. I added three lights to them. Um, pretty much, I added an image, um, image-based lighting. Um, I added global illumination, ambient occlusion. Um, anti-aliasing. I'm using mental ray. Um, okay, that's pretty much. You can also render. Um, so. I just adjust the settings here. Uh, adjust the settings here. Okay, adjust the settings here and just choose whichever one you want here and just pff, voila, just render it out. I think um, pretty much on that note, um, I like to call it a day or <laughs> an end of the tutorial. My name is Godfrey Owusu, aka, and this tutorial is for Digital Grid. Thank you. Um, please don't forget to comment on it and subscribe. I love you all. Um, I thank you for the, uh, the, the, the support you've been giving to me. Um, 
keep commenting uh keep subscribing um i need it so much any any tutorial you want on maya um as you know just look down below here um for all the uh, softwares i use whichever one you want um i can just um find it for you if i can okay um thank you very much my name is godfrey over to aka gentle see you bye